Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hand build a gnome. Since spring is coming and a lot of people might be spending more time in the garden, so I think it'll be nice to make some garden stuff and gnome as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. So here I have a gnome that is in bone dry stage that I made last week. Um, it's used using the hand building technique and I have a template here that I'll show you in a bit. So this gnome has a cute little hat, a nose and shoes. And after glaze firing, I think I'm going to glue some beer as well. So let's take a look at what we need for this project. So right here I have a template. You can easily draw your own on paper. It's just a cone shape with a curve on the bottom. So I'm going to put this on my slab and then cut around it and then I'll fold that up like that. So you need uh, some kind of a cone template. My knife for cutting out the clay slab. This is a foot maker tool, but I like to use this to cut out a strip of clay and put that on here. So this is the strip that I'm going to talk about. And then for the flowers here on the hat, I have some plaster mold here of flowers and leaves. So I just can just put um, a little bit of clay here and press it down as a press mold and put that on my hat for my gnome. So this one is, just, is a commercial mold, but you can easily make your own plaster mold. So this one I made it myself. I just got like little beads and buttons that I have. So. I have a container, pour some plaster in. While it is drying, I just press the little buttons here to get the press mold. And after the plaster is completely dry, you can use this mold for anything. So yeah, um, let's get started with rolling out the clay slab. All right, so I have rolled out my clay slab to a quarter of an inch and then I've also compressed it already, so I'm going to just put my template on here and cut out my template. So you don't have to be exact with the template because we're hand building and we need to smooth out the seam later anyways. So I've cut out my template and while I have my slab here, I also want to cut out my strip of clay. Okay. And so for the rest, I'm just going to save the clay later for decorations and the nose and stuff. So I'm just going to take this out. This one as well. Next, um, I'm going to bevel the edges so I can just use my knife to cut at a 45 degree angle like that. And then flip it around for this side. Next, I want to slip and score. So I've got my scoring tool here. I'm just going to score the edges, both sides. Okay, and then I'm 
I'm just going to put some water on the edge like that. And then I'm going to roll it together like an ice cream cone. So I like to start on the bottom like that. And then because it start to get really hard and my fingers are not long enough to support the inside of this cone, I like to use this tool. So this tool I got it from Amazon. I think people use it to make um, waffle cones for ice creams. So I like just to just put it in there and use it to support the cone while I push them together like that. So yeah, that's how I made my comb. This tool is really useful. Okay. And then next I'm just going to wet the edges a little bit. And then using my rip tool to smooth out the edge. And I can move down this tool as I smooth it out. And I can also move it up for the top here as well. And as you can see, there are lots of cracks here because the clay I'm using is recycled clay that has been sitting for a while, so it's super dried. So I'm just gonna re-wet the clay and just smooth out the clay like that. pretty smooth and for the bottom here I can just use my knife and clean this part up so my knife here is really blunt it's a super blunt knife so it's okay it won't cut me okay so that's it and for then for the tip remember my norm was kind of like a little curvy tip so what I do is I have my bucket of water and I wet my hand, wet my tip. It's kind of like um, pulling a, a handle for a mug. So what I do is I just kind of do this, pull this tip a little bit longer. Just keep pulling and that's pretty good it's a little bit long so next what I'll do is put my hand again I like to curve from the middle here instead of here from the middle then slowly wet as well like that, doing this motion and just like that like that so you want to keep this clay wet while you are moving the clay so that it doesn't break so that's how I make my curve for my gnome hat okay so and then for the inside seam you can use a tongue tool like this one here. Wet your tool and just move out the inside. Good. 
just like that. Perfect. Okay. So the outside looks pretty good. Next, I want to make the hat. So you can also use this for Christmas tree during Christmas time. That's how I make my Christmas tree as well. Then the next thing that I want to do is make the, the hat for the gnome. Okay, so I have rolled out a small piece of clay and I'm just going to draw a big circle like that. And then another small circle like that inside. I have my gnome here just going to put my circle in here so obviously my circle is too big so I am going to cut this and I'm just going to put it like that and then I'll cut right here Just like that and I want the hat to be to look like this so that's the hat So that's what it look, it look like. Then next, I'm going to just move this piece uh, into the clay. You can use a small tongue tool like this one here to help me smooth it in like that. Actually going to put this in here to help me support the clay so I don't warp the cone of the clay. So just like that you don't have to make it pretty because remember the strip of clay I cut out with the foot maker so I'm going to put that on right now so that kind of hides this ugly part that i'm smoothing it out okay So here's the strip of clay. I'm going to slip this part, slip and score this part. Slip the clay down, slip and score this part. Okay, and then just gonna wet it with water. That's how I put my strip on here. Just lightly press it in. And since this is the back of the hat, I can just do like that. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And then for the back,
I just did that. Just like that. And then just smooth this part out. Some water. So you can just use a tool to smooth out the edges like that. So I will smooth this out a little bit later, but this is basically the shape that I have. The next thing for the norm is I want to make a nose and the shoes. So I have these scrap clay here. I can just squish them together, roll out a ball. So for the nose, I want to press it down like that and I want to check with this to see. I think that looks like a pretty good nose. After I have my nose, I want to cut it in half like that. And then I want to slip and score the nose. This is the front, so I think this looks pretty good, this part here. So just press it down. That's why it's important to have this tool inside so that when I press down, I'm not changing the shape of this gnome. And you can smooth out the edge with a tool like that. Okay, so I have my nose. Now let's do the shoes. So get all your scrap clay. Just mush them together, roll it out. I think this looks pretty good for the shoes. Let's see if it's too big. Maybe it's a bit too big for the shoes, maybe a bit smaller. I think it's okay. Alright, so next I'm going to, after I have my shoes, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to slip and score. So putting this on here and then putting one shoe, shoe on here 
that looks pretty good and then the other shoe on here looks a little bit funny with the big shoes on but i think it's going to be really cute after i add the beer on Okay, so that's basically it. The last part that I'm going to do will be adding the decoration on the hat. You can also add decoration on his body as well. So here's the mold that I have. So I have all these scrap clay, so make sure the clay is wet. So that's easier to push down so i think i'm going to go with this flower here so i don't need that much clay maybe this much roll it into a ball about the size of the flower just press it down like that just like that and then to take out this i have another piece of clay just going to push it in there that's how you get it out and then since um, there's excess clay on the outside I'm going to just use my knife to cut out this excess clay here my flower I'm going to slip and score now and I'll put that on my gnome I think this looks pretty good be right here and then I think I want to add a leaf here behind the flower so, I think um, I got this flower, so for the leaf, a good size one may be this one here. There, that's my leaf. I love the details that I get from plaster mold. It would have took me so long if I were to sculpt this by hand, each leaf and each flower by hand. Okay, that's my leaf. I'm going to slip and score this one here. So I think I'll do the leaf first like that. So I need to press it down. So I need this tool here. I'm going to press this down. And then the flower like that. And then I'm going to smooth out the edges of my tool. Just like that. You can also use a small paintbrush as well to just smooth out the edge. Like that. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cute with my gnome. I'll add a few more decorations on, but that's basically it. 
It's very simple and easy to use and make with your students or with kids. It's a very cute project for spring or summer. So thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment in the, sec in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you everyone. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.